Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we're diving back right into our city zoo in Planet Zoo. And in this video, we will be building a beautiful aviary habitat for the red crowned crane in our little Asia area in sandbox mode. Now, I do have a confession to make. Initially, I built this habitat for a different series I had in mind uh, this mini aquatic franchise mode zoo that was uh, first like only visible for YouTube members only so I could build in the zoo without any time pressure and upload it later on to the rest of the channel. But as you can see, it actually fits perfectly within our city zoo. And I think when I was building this habitat, it secretly made me realize how much I loved our city zoo project. But by the time I was building the zoo, I didn't know yet that I was able to boost our city zoo performance that much that I would actually be able to jump back into our city zoo. So yeah, one of my YouTube members actually pointed out as well that this aquatic themed zoo with this first habitat might not really align super well with an aquatic themed zoo that I wanted to go for. And you know what? They were actually right. Like that comment really made me realize I wasn't on the right track with this new aquatic zoo. So we decided to incorporate this beautiful habitat into our city zoo instead. And it will make me go back to the drawing table to plan a new modern aquatic franchise mode zoo instead, which I can hopefully start working on in the near future. I really, really do hope so. Now, before we move on, I want to take a moment to apologize for any confusion caused by ending some of the older Planet Zoo series on the channel recently. I know that some of you actually thought that I was going to leave behind Planet Zoo or franchise mode, which is all definitely not the case. I know it might have been a bit messy maybe but please bear with me like lately my mind has been a whirlwind basically how the channel is looking right now <laughs> I'm just really searching for that next big project, the next amazing zoo to build. Like ever since we completed the African mini zoo last year, like a project that I'm just super proud of. And I think it's just one of my best projects out there. Like I've really been searching for the next big thing for the channel and the next amazing zoo to build. And it's been quite a challenge, honestly, to build something that I am also really happy with constantly after building every habitat and it's also just quite struggling because I'm also suffering with like a lot of ups and downs of a creative block so yeah I really do appreciate your understanding as we go through all this and I really hope that maybe also ending some series will give us like this clean slate to start fresh and uh, bring you all an exciting new zoo experience soon on the channel that is at least my goal but I really want to make sure that I have a good plan and I, that I know exactly what what kind of theme I want to go for and how I want to do it before I start anything new because the last thing I want is ending or starting a new series and ending it as well before it is finished. So yeah, bear with me. I'm going to do my best to not start anything else yet before I know exactly what I want and that I'm 100% going to be happy with it. Now also let me assure you that City Zoo and Tropical Franchise Mode series will continue on the channel. So don't worry about that these two series have become so special and they are simply just too good and too important for me to left unfinished. So, but of course, when the time is right, we will go on a new adventure, building like this real modern aquatic mini zoo franchise series at some point. So yeah, obviously exciting times ahead of us, but also going to continue our beloved city zoo and tropical franchise mode series until they are completely finished. That is my goal still to finish all these, uh, these lovely zoos. Now let's talk a bit more about the red crowned crane aviary habitat because this is not an ordinary habitat build. This is going to be a walkthrough habitat, obviously inspired by my most favorite zoo, Rotterdam Zoo, and their new flamingo walkthrough habitat, which is also another reason why it's a great idea adding this habitat in our city zoo. <laughs> now to ensure the cranes can't fly away, we've built a large aviary around the outdoor area with these chain link fences and stuff because these beautiful birds need some space to roam freely and the aviary provides just that. So you will notice we are using the plastic curtains to guide guests safely into the walkthrough habitat without allowing the cranes 
to escape because safety is obviously our top priority. <laughs> and additionally, we've installed like this secondary fence along the walkthrough path to minimize any potential escape attempts. So we obviously want Red Crown's crane to feel secure and our guests to enjoy their visit worrying free ride. So creating a natural environment is essential for the well-being of our animal residents. So that's why we incorporated like this water area within the habitat also extend a little bit to the outside of the habitat just for decorational purposes. And this allows the red crowned cranes to swim and cool down and also to drink from, of course. And we've also hidden like this forge box feeder enrichment item within the water surrounded by a lot of rocks, making it like a perfect spot for the cranes to enjoy a meal in between like the splashing, walking and flying around in their habitat. Now, as we continue, it's time to build a backstage area. Now, this area serves as a dual purpose because it provides shelter for the red crowned crane and also houses some essential staff buildings. So we will be including like this keeper hut and this functional staff room to ensure that our dedicated staff members have everything they need to take care for the red crowned cranes. And we've also left some space to incorporate like these backstage props from the conservation pack because they are just adding like this little extra touch of detail and realism to the backstage area. So I really do love that. Now the front of the building will feature some custom made glass windows with like the, the plaster pieces and stuff, allowing some natural light to illuminate the shelter area for the cranes. It's a small detail, something I really do love to do to create my own windows, but it makes such a big difference in creating like this pleasant, good looking and comfortable environment for our feathered friends in this case. And of course on the inside, we also add like these chain link fences for some more realism and adding like these little hay beddings that look like nests, including some fake eggs to really give the idea that some cranes are actually breeding here in the shelter area. And I'm just so happy with this area. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And I just love the little realism that, that we added here with the eggs. Now, while this building's classical decorations may not perfectly match our little Asia area, we will make some minor adjustments to the roof to blend it in better into this area. But still, it does fit fantastic in our city zoo in general. So overall, I'm just super happy with this habitat and like this shelter building after adding it now in our city zoo. So with the backstage area complete, it's time to focus on the habitat's aesthetics. So we want to create like this natural ambiance that reflects the beauty of the red crowned crane's natural habitat. I'm clearly lying here. I mean, because when looking at the natural biome of a red crowned crane, all you see is grass. And clearly, I just want to make a beautiful and nice looking habitat for them to enjoy. So we will be adding plenty of rocks, creating good looking rock formations throughout the whole exhibit. And these rocks not only add like this visual interest, but also provide additional perching and resting spots for the cranes. So we will also include like these hay beddings on the outside to represent these nesting areas, offering the cranes like this cozy spot to rest, breed their eggs and take care of their babies. And of course, we'll also bring in an array of plants and bushes carefully selected to make the habitat lush and inviting for both the red crowned cranes and the guests and also the surroundings of the whole aviary will be nicely decorated with these plants and bushes. So now that we've added this beautiful habitat to our little Asia area and city zoo, I'm very excited to continue building and expanding in this section of our zoo. There are still so many animal plans on the horizon for little Asia. However, before we dive into filling it all up, like we definitely need to revisit the map that we created like a year or two ago to, to plan and lay out where we want all the Asian animals to be. Because since like a year or two ago, we have received so many new planet zoo packs, which means we do have more animals to choose from, right? Like in our previous map, we had envisioned like the upper area of Little Asia to house animals like the Indian elephant, timber wolf, Bactrian camel, Siberian tiger, and the snow leopard and as for the lower part of little asia we plan to feature like the animals such as the indian rhino doll hormozan black bear and the brown bear but now looking 
back at these two years, I can't help but wonder if we should expand or like change the plan for Little Asia a little bit. But I have a, a little bit of a blackout here as I can't recall any other Asian species that we have gone over the past two years, like after we got introduced to the Southeast Asia animal pack. Because of course, we've already incorporated some animals of that pack, like the proboscis monkey, babirusa, and the binturong in Little Asia. However, please let me know in the comments down below which newer Asian animals I may have overlooked here and, and maybe you guys can suggest some additional species that we could potentially add to Little Asia as well so I can uh, like redraw the map a little bit and also just to clarify like we already have a habitat for the Bengal tiger, Chinese pangolin, giant panda, the orangutan, clouded leopard and the Japanese macaque if I remember correctly and yeah well I would just love to hear your ideas for further expanding our little Asia area. And also before we go, like in case you've missed it, I recently had the incredible opportunity to join the lovely Just Goran on his channel in a real life a virtual zoo tour at Rotterdam Zoo Blydorp. And let me tell you, it was such an absolute blast recording that video with Just Goran. We had so much fun with the red pandas. <laughs> So if you're looking for some fantastic city zoo inspiration, I highly recommend you all to watch the Rotterdam Zoo Blydorp series on Joss Gore and his channel. It's my absolute favorite zoo, in case you didn't know yet. And a lot of what you see here in City Zoo is inspired by the incredible buildings and architecture of that zoo. So if you're loving the City Zoo and want even more inspiration for building your own zoo, there's just no better option than to go and check out Joss Goran's channel. I will make sure to provide a link to his channel and the Rotterdam Zoo Blider playlist in the description of this video so you can easily find it and enjoy it, of course. And do not forget Get to subscribe to Just Goran for more amazing Planet Zoo inspiration and creations. So yeah, I'm just truly excited by this walkthrough habitat for the rat crowned cranes and I'm just super happy with it and I can't wait to hear your thoughts about it as well. So what do you think about this aviary for the red crowned crane habitat including this backstage area? Please do let me know in the comments down below. Your feedback and comments always mean the world to me and I really look forward to reading them all. And if you enjoyed this video and found it inspiring, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. So yeah, thank you all so much for joining me on this new City Zoo episode and leave something nice, of course, in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!